Okay, so yesterday we talked about Apple working on a new software update for iOS 17, iOS 17.6.1, and now today the software is officially live. So everyone can now download the new update for iPhone and iPad, iOS 17.6.1 is officially here. Now, aside from iOS and iPad OS 17.6.1, Apple also provided an update for Mac users as well, Mac OS 14.6.1. But not only that, if you have an older iPhone, Phone running iOS 16, like an iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, you can jump into settings here, head on over into general, go into software updates, and Apple is also providing an update for those iPhones and iPads as well. So iOS 16.7.10. Now, I don't remember the last time we had a point 10 update, it's been so many years. I think iOS 4 was the last time we saw a point 10 update, but there it is available today. For iPhone users, obviously no beta testing. This is an official software for iOS 16 and iOS 17 devices. Now, yesterday we talked about Apple planning to launch this software update. We saw evidence of this and here it is, 17.6.1. Now, this update is obviously recommended for all users as it does provide important bug fixes and addresses an issue that may prevent enabling or disabling the advanced data protection. And I currently have that issue running iOS 17. So if we jump into settings here, we go into iCloud settings, and then we go into iCloud. If we scroll to the bottom, obviously we'll find those options right there, the advanced data protection features, which were added with iOS 16, I believe it was. And you see here, in order to enable this feature, we have to go ahead and update the encryption on the iCloud settings. Obviously this will protect your iCloud data like notes, photos, messages, everything that you add to the encryption of advanced data protection with iCloud, if you don't update those settings, then obviously you won't be able to take advantage of this protection on your device. But keep in mind that I did have that issue where I couldn't enable the advanced data protection feature on my iPhone running iOS 17, 17.3, 17 17 17.4.5.6, and obviously 17.6.1. Now we'll address this issue where you can finally update your iCloud settings in order to take advantage of the advanced data protection. Now, not only iOS 17 devices were having this issue, as we take a look here, if we go into general software updates, we now have the same issues being resolved here for iOS 16 devices. So just keep in mind that if you were having issues with the advanced data protection feature not working properly for you, iOS 17.6.1 will address those issues. You'll now be able to update your encryption and take advantage of the most secure iCloud encryption with your device running iOS 17, which is obviously super important, and iOS 16 devices. Again, if you use advanced data protection, I highly recommend you update your device and to make sure that you actually go back and re-enable the advanced data protection. As you see here, this iPhone is running 17.6. I haven't updated just yet, but I continue to have issues where I can't enable it. So that is the issue that Apple is actually addressing with this software update for most devices. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to share this quick update with you guys. Again, iOS 17.6.1, 16.7.10, and macOS 14.6.1. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.